Hi there, welcome to Proud Animator. In this lesson, we are going to animate this cool bench press animation inside of After Effects using Twig Bezel plugin. This is a very simple and easy to do animation. Even if you are a beginner in After Effects, you can do it all by yourself. So follow along with the lesson. Before jumping onto After Effects, let's check out how to separate the layers inside of Adobe Illustrator to prepare the file for animation. So right now we are inside of Adobe Illustrator and this is the illustration we are going to use today to animate our bench press character. So this is how I have separated the layers. Now let's dig in and check out how I have separated it. So I have kept the foot layer in a separate layer. The, this each of the parts of the leg are also in a separate layer. Even the thighs and this hip portion is also in a separate layer the whole chest is in a separate layer now the arms are also in a separate layer even the forearm is in a separate layer even though i have also attached the the forearm with the hand as well and to do this i have separated this weight in three separate layers this is the mid section of the rod this is the side portion this is another side so okay we haven't named it let's name it as well now each of the elements of the face is also in a separate layer if we want to move it we can move it independently and save with the other side of the leg as well and the whole bench press equipment is in the separate layer and this back portion is also in a separate layer so this is how I have separated the each of the elements inside of Adobe Illustrator to prepare the file for animation. By the way, if you want to know the basics of how to design flat style illustration or how to design characters, do check out the link in the description or click on the i button at the top right corner. You can get a numerous tutorials that will help you understand and learn how to illustrate in flat style inside of adobe illustrator so let's jump on to after effects and start with the rigging process we are inside of after effects and right now we are going to start with the rigging of the character and for that i have added a reference layer over here inside of adobe illustrator only this is nothing but few circles that i have added on each of the overlap of the joints so that we can put the structure layers and rig it properly so we are going to right click on it and convert it into shape layers perfect and let's delete it and i will turn on the tweak and just select on rigging then click over here create structures and i'm going to start with the arm rigging so i'm going to select on arm structure so we are going to select all the structure layer and pull it and put it above the arm and uh, let's solo the layer and uh, let's put the structure layers so right like this we are going to put this particular anchor point of the structure layer on those uh, circles of the reference layer okay right now we are going to parent arm with arm forearm with forearm and we are going to select arm again and parent it with chest so when i move the chest everything should move together and now let's select the structure layers and click on these links and constraints and click on auto rig and your hand will be rigged okay so right now we are going to select the structure layers again and just solo it out or shy it out so for that click on this and also i'm going to turn off the visibility because we don't need to see it anymore and turn on this one to turn on the shy okay now the hand is rigged perfect we are going to do the same with the other side of the arm as well so let's do that
Now, before parenting the arm with the chest layer, first of all select all the structure layer and rig it first and then parent the arm structure layer with the chest layer, okay? And right now I'm going to select all the structure layers, turn off the visibility and turn on the shy. So yeah, the hand is again rigged. Now let's do the same for the leg as well. So I'm going to click on this create structures again. And this time around we are going to select on this leg. Okay, now we are going to select all of it and put it above the leg one and let's shy out the layers and we are going to put the structure layers above it now for the leg structure layer we are going to put the thigh at this particular point because we want to rotate the thigh from this particular point perfect and we are going to put this one over here and for the foot we are going to first of all put the foot layer over here toe at the tip and we are going to put the toe tip in almost in the same place and let's put the heel somewhere around here perfect now i'm going to select the thigh and parent it with okay first of all just select all the structure layers now before that select the thigh and parent it with thigh and this one with this one this one with this one first of all parent the layers and then click on the structure layers and auto rig it first and then click on thigh and parent it with the hip layer yeah this one and now we don't need to see these structure layers anymore so shy it off Perfect. Now we are going to do the same for the other side of the leg as well. So again we are going to click on the leg and repeat the process. Okay, so all of the arms and the legs are rigged. So let's so first of all check our rig if everything is working. Yep, everything is working. So right now we are going to proceed with our next step. Right now we are going to select all the layers of the head portion and pre comp it. And after that we are going to move the anchor point and put it over here perfect right now we are going to parent head with the chest chest with hip so if we move the hip everything should look like it is attached by the way uh, let's delete this reference we don't need it anymore perfect now we are going to add a null layer over here and move the anchor point to its center and i'm going to put it over here let's scale it down and let's name it wet okay now we are going to select wet to this particular wet mid rod yeah this one and the wet one and parent it with wet and after that we are going to select hand one and hand two and parent it with wet so if we move this null everything is everything is moving together okay so now it's all set for animation now first of all let's lock this background and shadow layer and we are going to shy it out this back, back stand we're going to shy it and after that we are also going to shy out the thighs foots and the layers we don't need for this particular animation okay now 
we are going to open the position property of this null and put a keyframe over here and right now we are in 30 frames per second so remember to uh, just make this your composition fps or whatever you want just if you want to animate it in 60 fps just do the spacing accordingly perfect and right now we are going to move this down to around here oh okay we need to move this and uh, just fix the layer arrangement so here we are going to select arm and forearm and put it below the thigh now it's perfect okay so this is the neutral pose okay so the weight 2 should also be below this hand so where is weight 2 yeah this one should be below the arm now it's looking perfect and let's get back to the animation so this is the neutral pose now we are going to jump on to next let's say 10 frames and we are going to pull it above so this character is going to push it and lift the weight so this is the maximum height and after that we are going to jump on to next six frames and again go down a bit so this is the neutral pose when it is just lift uh, when uh, the character lifted the weight now let's say it waits for at this particular position for around 20 frames so again i'm going to put a position keyframe over here and now let's jump on to eight frames and i'm going to copy the initial keyframe and paste it so ctrl c and ctrl v and let's easy is out and let's check our animation till now how it exactly looks it's looking pretty nice even uh, right now but uh, we can even make it even better by fixing the graph editor a bit so in this particular animation we don't need the x-axis so first of all we have separated the dimension for that for right click on the position and so click on separate dimensions i have already separated it so we don't need the x-axis so we have just deleted the keyframes and let's move on to our graph editor okay now we are going to easy is in this particular position and we are going to make this particular position a bit stiffer and this should be a bit yeah, let's give slight ease over here as well now we can even add some shakiness to this particular area where it is still so let's add some keyframes here here and here perfect so at this particular position let's pull it above two pixels down two pixels then again copy the initial keyframe and yeah let's check our animation i think we can give it more timing when it is lifting up the weight so let's jump on to next 14 frames and and i'm going to just put the keyframes at the 14th frame and let's check our animation yeah it's looking pretty nice and we are going to go with this one okay so our bench press animation is almost done let's add some animation to the head as well so open the position property and let's separate the dimension for this one as well we don't need to move it in x-axis so we are going to go with the y-axis only and i'm going to put a keyframe here here as well so at this particular position the head should 
move down a bit and again we are going to copy it and let's pull it down even more perfect now we are going to copy and paste it as this keyframe so at this particular region the head should be still and then again we can copy and paste the initial keyframe and let's easy is it perfect yeah it's looking even better now we are going to add some animation to the chest as well so we are going to move the anchor point over here so open the scale property and at this particular position the scale value should be neutral 100 and 100 at this particular position we can scale the y-axis and give it 105 now let's give it 107 okay not 107 let's give it 98 and at this particular point it will be neutral and at this particular region let's keep it just static and just copy and paste the initial keyframe at the end and let's easy is the keyframes so yeah it's looking pretty nice and the scale up and scale down animation even made the whole thing even better now we can even go a bit farther and add some animation to the hip as well so let's do that so for that we are going to first of all move the anchor point of the hip to somewhere around here perfect now i'm going to open the rotation and position property and put a keyframe on each of these properties and again put a keyframe on the next position where there is a keyframe and again so that we can keep in track of the neutral position so this is the neutral pose okay now at this particular position we are going to rotate it slightly let's give it minus one degree of rotation and move it above a bit because it's crossing the okay let's give it minus uh only one degree of rotation and let and at this particular point let's give it minus one degree of rotation and i'm going to move it above perfect and here it is again came back to its neutral and again we are going to put the same position same keyframes and at this point we are going to copy and paste the initial keyframes and easy is out now let's check our animation yeah this thing even made the whole animation even more natural and even it's looking even better so that is how you can animate a character or a bench press in a very simple manner with Dwig Bezier. So that is it for this lesson. I would highly recommend you to try it on your own and I have also done a lot of tutorials on illustration, Adobe Illustrator, how to design in flat style. So do check out the lessons if you want to learn how to design characters like this and design the character and do the animation and let me know how it turned out so that is it for this lesson hope you like the video if you liked it then make sure to hit the like button if you have any doubt regarding the lesson make sure to comment down below i will be happy to help you out and if you are here for the first time make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates until then goodbye